Hey guys, welcome to the next section, time series and anomaly detection. In this section, we will learn what is time series data, how to represent it in Go, learn about the statistics, learn how to make some forecasts, and how to detect anomalies in our time series data. Now we move on to the first video of this section, representing time series data in Go. In this video, we're going to represent tabular data perfectly by using a data frame or matrix. There are purpose-built systems to store and work with time series data. Some of these are even written in Go, including Prometheus and InfluxDB. However, some of the tooling that we have already utilized in this course is also suitable to handle time series. Take, for example, a dataset that includes a time series representing the number of international air passengers during the years 1949 to 1960. Here the time column includes a series of times represented by a year along with a decimal, and the air passengers column includes the number of international air passengers at that time. In other words, this is a time series with a pairing of time, number of passengers. This is just tabular data, and we can represent it perfectly well using a data frame or matrix. Let's utilize a data frame for simplicity, as shown in the code. Here we first pen the CSV file, create a data frame from the CSV file, and as a sanity check, display the records to standard out. The GoTa will format the data frame for pretty printing. When we build and run it, we get this result. We could represent the series similarly with GoNum mat package, and if needed, we can convert the data frame to slices of floats for use with GoNum slash floats package. If we wanted to plot the time series, for example, we could convert the columns to floats and produce a plot with gonum.org slash v1 slash plot as shown in the code. Here we open the CSV file and extract the number of passengers column. The points will hold the values for plotting and we will fill the points with data. We can then create the plot, add the line plot points for the time series and save the plot. Compiling and running this program produces the plot of our time series. As expected, the number of international air passengers increases over time as more and more people begin to travel via airplanes. We can also see that there appear to be bumps or spikes that are repeating over time. We will dive more into these features shortly in the coming videos. That's all for now.